I get the credit, and I'm the guy in the, in the lead, but I have a good, lot of good assistants, Boo Boy, Eric, Nunoy, Alex, all you guys. Thank you for your help. I, mean, I have a great team, and it's a team effort. And uh, like Manny Pacquiao told me, he says, I don't blame my trainers for winning or losing. He says, because it's up to me to win the fight. Because when, when the bell rings, I sit down and he fights. He fought a terrific fight, and um, I'm very happy. And um, I wish Oscar the best. Uh, there's no hard feelings. I know a lot's been said, but I think Oscar's a good guy, and uh, he's had a great career. But I'd like to see him retire because I think it's over, and um, he's a great promoter, and hopefully he'll stick at that. Thank you. We have a, we have a question. Question. Yeah. Congratulations. Two questions. Was this fight more personal for you than any one that you had participated in? And did you get full vindication tonight? Uh, yes and yes. <laughs> uh, it was a little more personal. Um, you know, I trained Oscar before, and um, I thought we'd be, I thought we would be together for a long time. And it only lasted one fight, and uh, he replaced me. And um, he told me that he'd never fight without me in his corner again. But um, a little bit of a get back at him, yeah, and I'm happy about that, and um, um, it's, it's, it's great. Hey, Freddie, uh, can you speak to Manny moving up so many weight classes and still not only maintaining his power, but having even better power? And I can't think of anyone outside of maybe Duran when he came up and went all the way to the super middle, middleweight, super middleweights. Maybe you can look at Tommy Hearns, who went up in weight. With, with the exception of those guys, when you move up, you lose power. Why hasn't Manny lost power? What does he have that other guys don't? You know, he's getting a little older. He's, th he's a lot thicker than he once was. He's not the skinny little 112 pounder that we once knew. He's, uh, he's matured. He's a man now. He's not a boy. And he reminds me of Henry Armstrong, the great fighter of the past. He's a throwback. He can fight in any era. Manny Pacquiao is just a machine. He's very awkward, he's hard to read. And, you know, I knew the in and out motion that would give Austin so much trouble, and that's why he said he couldn't pull the trigger, because he couldn't time Manny. He didn't know when Manny was coming or going. And uh, he, he, I'm so happy that he stuck to the game plan and stayed off the ropes for the, for the most part of the fight. He kept the fight in the middle of the ring, because that's where our advantage was. There he is, there he is. Manny Freddie, since, since Manny was dominating so so completely, was there a point in the fight where you had to tell him, okay, don't get cocky, let's not overdo it, keep your keep your discipline? Well, at the end of the seventh round, I told him, okay, you heard Oscar at the end of the seventh, and I thought he was supposed to have him out. And I told him that Manny, I said, now keep boxing him for the first minute of the next round because he's going to come out fresh, he's going to try to knock you off because he has no other chance. And then I did tell Manny, I said, Manny, but after that, I says, take it to him, don't carry him. And he says, it's your job to knock him out. It's your, it's your job, do it. And he, he did. Yeah, let's, right. let's, let's, let's hear it now. Let's hear it now for the best.